in the concept of forgiveness as letting go, let's call that like the super base level physical only of just like, if I'm holding on to this emotion or the specific thought or the specific feeling, I'm going to let it go, right? So I'm no longer the one being like, yeah, holding the sword to try to maintain this certain dynamic. Like, let's call that like the simplest bottom level, which to me, it's like, it's it's not the full idea of forgiveness because if you if you look at forgiveness as a whole, you are letting go of a dynamic, but you're more so erasing that game from existence, right? So it's like you have all the lessons from it, but you no longer have to play it out because then you're able to actually see and feel the situation, person, place, or thing as is from the neutral state. So somebody could, in the example that you gave, if someone is like actively like, like trying to hurt you or trying to say mean things or being a bully, like actively at you, if you've actually forgiven them or forgiven yourself more appropriately for the kind of dynamic at play, you wouldn't perceive it as, oh my God, he's just hurting me, whatever. Right? They're just like throwing all these mean words or trying to curse me. You would literally just perceive it as this is just a conversation we're having. I could walk away at any moment or you could just like go up and hug or whatever, right? You're given so many more options, but you're not emotionally or mentally entangled into that dynamic, right? So if if there are little bits of those you know, like you mentioned in the example of the list, every now and then you might snag yourself, be like, oh, this person said this one thing, and you might go back to scrolling at the bottom of the list. So those are the examples of you could have let go of certain like bigger realms of dynamics of games. So it's like I let go of the fact that this person is, you know, they're very negative or they're very just like they're a bully all the time. I, I cool. I, I can let that go. I can let them be them but it still irks me every now and then, right? It still like irks me the fact that that's how they treat others. Or it's like, you might take it personally every now and then, or you might be like taking a shower in the middle of a shower. You might have a thought that's like, wow, I just remember when this individual did this. And you know, it's, it's those kinds of shower thoughts. And you try to win the conversation in your head when you're in the shower. It's like, I know I've been guilty of that. It's like, right, that, that is a very easy train of thought that tries to exist in people's minds, right? So that's a great example and like, like a great piece to know. It's like, yeah, if, if parts of you are still trying to cling on to the way other people are living their lives or you're judging the choices that other, people's have, that other people have made, then okay, yeah, I can go back to here and be like, where have I been judging others? Where have I actually been bullying others? And it might not even be bullying others. It could be even bullying myself. Right, because if I perceive that individual as like they're being mean and only saying negative things towards them towards me or another individual, it's because I actually have that dynamic inside of me. I have a dynamic inside of me that is belittling myself whenever I would do other things. Like if I try to excel at school or excel at you know with friends or try to make myself seem perfect into a certain dynamic, that's me actually degrading the pieces of me that I believe to be less than. So that is a kind of internal bully system where I'm just constantly nagging on myself, like pushing against all these pieces. So it's actually about me forgiving myself to let go of that whole piece. So as, as a more like the more personal part of that process, to me, I feel it as my heart is actually expanding around myself and whoever person, place, or thing is in front of me. So one, first I can see like the love and acceptance in that space. And then when I forgive it, I actually, to me, it's like a miniature prayer that I say to myself where I actually, I forgive myself for blank. And then I go on to list the thing that I forgive myself for. And then I imagine everything, that whole dynamic, like the person, place, or thing and everything lifting into the light of God and disappearing. And then suddenly I actually feel lighter. And if I don't feel lighter, that means I actually haven't accepted or come into like, you know, realizing what the actual dynamic is at play. But for me, it's very heart-centered. It's very heart-centered, and it's first about love and acceptance. And then from there, if something gets snagged, I keep looking. But then it's about actually saying my own little prayer of forgiveness.